Dear friends, this is my tutorial 5 in Material Studio part 2. Okay, last video we have learned how to create this TIO2 Rutile 110 surface in the bottom one. Okay, in this tutorial you can learn how to create this water clusters to keep in the top of the TIO2 surface in order to do molecular dynamic simulation. Okay. So this is the TiO2 rutile 110 surface we already created. Okay. So this is the vacuum length. This vacuum vacuum length is around 20 Armstrong. Okay. So if you want to create a water molecule for this 20 Armstrong, you cannot uh, create that much length. So we need to create at least a 17 Armstrong. Okay. Then only the water molecule may not uh, merge inside the clusters okay that's why we have to give some small gap in between this interface then only we will see the interaction between this uh, TiO2 and water okay if you keep this full length of uh, 20 Armstrong length water molecule clusters so it will uh, merge okay it's, uh, uh, it will merge and it will uh, more steric entrance will happen in the near to the surface to avoid that one so we need to make around 17 Armstrong uh, water molecule clusters okay so I will tell you how to make water molecule cluster 17 uh, Armstrong water molecule cluster and we will keep there okay okay now we have to make a new file okay create a new one and 3d atomistic and uh, rename it into h2o okay so you can draw water molecule here just click pencil you select our atom already selected our oxygen atom okay just click it double click it will go then you can right click display type so ball and stick and just that's all increase if you want to the ball size always decrease 4 is enough so okay so now we need we have to remove one oxygen molecule okay oxygen atom so now just to click this h to add uh, h to add with the o atom okay that's our water molecule created so now we are going to create one empty cell okay so that need to cl uh, click uh, one one more then click a 3d atomistic so h to o cluster can type like this so now we are going to make h2 cluster here okay so for that we have to create one empty cell okay based on the uh, tio to this vacuum okay so for that what you have to do just to go to build crystal build crystal so here we can see lattice parameter is there so we need to copy that uh, TIO2 rotate 110 parameters okay so just to go there and you can go to build crystal rebuild crystal lattice parameters you can copy this uh, two parameters this 11.836 So A is 11.836. So this is the we have already I already told now the 20 Armstrong vacuum is there. Just we can create um, 17. Okay, 73 Armstrong will reduce. So then build. So our system is uh, created. Our unit cell. Okay this is the our uh, unit cell so we are going to add our water cluster inside the uh, this cell okay so what you have to do that one so now we have to click this amorphous so if you want to uh, go to models you can see amorphous cell okay this you have to click if you want to see here also you can see this uh, 
symbol you can find here so if you want to use it from the models you can uh, go to models amorphous set go to calculation then you will get uh, this small one so here you can see different kind of construction under packing under something okay you need to use packing okay so you need to use packing here you can skip medium is okay then the density this is very important so we are we are going to use water so water density is one okay that's why we keep one so here uh, you can see after that output you can leave it then uh, one is okay so here you need to uh, keep the path for your water one okay we already created h2o here just you have to click if you click means it will appear like this just to select that one highlight okay if i highlight it will work okay then run after uh, one or two minutes it will complete yeah i think uh, it's completed yeah it's like that will come and finally your uh, cluster uh, water cluster will be created okay so then click okay close it so your water cluster is ready so this is around 17 armstrong okay this is the amorphous so that water cl uh, clusters so what we have to do just copy this okay now we will copy this one so before that just we can label this anyone in order to keep uh, the correct way so just click this one under right click go to labels and you can click name and apply okay this is the 100 atom number is 100 okay so now we will copy this water clusters select all and uh, can copy right click and copy so go to rotail one so just paste it okay just you can rotate so this is like this just you can keep yeah so so i told you now to keep 17 armstrong means you will get some gap so while doing molecular dynamics that will expand the water molecule so then you can uh, get uh, you can um, see some interaction between the tao2 and the water molecule okay that's why i told so here also o we also select this the o100 so in that water cluster also so what is there so in that uh, o size so we have made given that o100 number so here also you can see exactly matching the size and that everything okay so that's all so now you, you can uh, save this file into c file c format and you can do your molecular dynamics okay so that's all so if you have any question just comment me i will answer that one no problem so that's all so if you increase this c now you can uh, display style will go then go to lattice so to increase c1 so see now our atom is have some gap in between this uh, top layer and the bottom layer so if we expand this water molecule so is it won't merge into that one that will have some more gap to relax okay vibrate so that's all okay you can save this file as a zip folder Then you can uh, save as a postcard file using Vesta. Okay, see this is the our 
TiO2 water cluster for molecular dynamic simulations. Okay, yeah, it's very nice. So you can save this into export data into postcard file. Fractional, okay. So see. So our postcard file is ready. Okay. Then you can fix the some bottom layers, then do molecular dynamic simulation. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And also, please click the bell icon for future videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your time.